Beast of Tucson. Follow Milton to place where body was Cesedin bulunduğu yere gideceğiz. Milton'la birlikte. Milton denen şövalye ile birlikte. Şu yerden bulduğumuz az önce şövalyeden düşen kılıcı kuşanamıyoruz şu an. 36 yıl istiyor. 35 yıl ıs. Bakalım daha iyi bir silah var mı şu an elimizde? Yok. Tamam devam edelim. Tusan topraklarına adım attık. Mutations and Grandmaster Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine you can upgrade. You can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new characters. Evet bu oyunla birlikte yeni gelen mutasyonlardan bahsediyor ve Grandmaster Witcher gear'ından bahsediyor. Yani e, bu tüm Witcher setlerimizi bir üst seviyeye geliştirebileceğiz bu Blood and Wine ile birlikte. Nasıl bir Google'da in a really interesting letter. Read and investigate the story of Professor Moro to learn more about these mutations. Professor Moro ile ilgili bir mektup bulacakmışız ve bu mutasyonlar hakkında bir şeyler öğrenecekmişiz. This is a class of class of ways in Tucson who can craft feature gear of anacult quality. What's more, yours is special ones is for going all that set. Evet, mutasyonlar ve Grandmaster Witcher zırhları ile ilgili bilgiler verdi bize oyun. Şuralarda rütbeyecek bir şey var mı? Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Dramlar var bir kesimde de. Evet. Got guests. Careful. Scarver mı? Burada dramlar yok. Scarver var. Duramadık ya. Oo. Çok fena mı? Çok fena kan çıktı. Oo. out of the water then cut the mutilated body free gonna dive in make sure they didn't miss anything anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows yes the stench is fierce only blood soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing good quality cloth a wealthy victim correct looks it
junk that came down the river. You must keep searching. Anchor deal from Algum DLC. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory clearly. Need to be DLC in a video. Can every Easter egg, man? nets out of the water and cut the mutilated body free. Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Such good fortune you found us. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarieta. Just in the area that we're going to solve that scene. We're going to be doing this for you. Anarieta. Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself sometimes. We address each other by our first names in private, never in Palmer's presence. He finds such familiarity offensive. Oh, a watering oh. hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. I'm going to save him, man. What's your stone for? What? With no lads brave enough? Of course we have. But bravery is not enough against the beast. Such good. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard. But all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. 
This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. <laughs> we invited two men to join us, yet since, sir, the pair are parent in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Pavan. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask her, please. Or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not the soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm. Well, what did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out, next to it a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard horn. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? Kim is on that? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rossell's estate. Ah, into a morgue. He'll set his house on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. I did. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. <laughs> God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Chantois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Yani şu an için kazandığım üstün kartları 350 tane listeledik. Bunlar satılmazsa tekrar realist yapabiliriz. Tekrar realist yapabiliriz. Ancak baktık satılmıyor. Hepsini kuyuksel yapıp coinlerimizi geri alıyoruz ve gene de kar edeceğiz.